are you doing, Lee? I'm doing a jib shot, Adam. But you don't have a jib. Good point. Lee, what is the motion capture jib arm's functionality? Well, Adam, the jib arm gives cinematographers the ability to do incredibly dynamic shots. Sweeping up through the air like this and coming down to the ground gracefully uh, with pinpoint accuracy. motion capture jib arms difference going to do in your cinematography basically Adam if I have the motion capture jib arm I'll have to repeat shots over and over again with absolutely no difference in the shot it'll be like a difference of a millimeter maybe maybe that difference but apart from that no difference in the shot just repeating that shit over and over again. What we just did then was we sampled. Did you see what when we first started? Yeah. So we were just sampling positions. Um, we were creating our shot. We wanted to be here to start. At another point, we wanted to be somewhere else. Um, yeah. So we just went through the whole move, stay step by step by step, and find the shot. Tilt, pan, sample it yourself. Lee, I would like you to speculate on how you would use the drip arm motion capture in your cinematography. Well, Adam, I don't like to speculate about the future, especially in five years' time. But because the jib arm's available to me, I think I'd use it for awesome sweeping shots that go from the sky to the ground and for pinpoint accuracy and gracefulness like a ballerina and a gazelle merged as one Reflect on new understanding you have gained about current and future ways to practice your craft. Basically, before I knew about this technology, I had to rely on human organic uh, movement. But now that I have this technology available to me, I can rely on the technology's pinpoint accuracy to eliminate the human error. Basically, this technology will improve all aspects of filmmaking 